So quick thing before we start. Um, if like we wanted to play more D&D &D, like per week, would you rather like play on Sundays too or just play like another hour on Saturdays? Uh, ooh. That is a... So you mean like we would do two hours on Saturday, two hours on Sunday, or would it just be two hours on Saturday, one hour on Sunday? Uh, it'd really be like up to like how much we wanted to play. Like, like I, I am like I am loving this, and I could play like literally yeah. all day, yeah. literally yeah. all day. I think it would depend on the day, because sometimes we might be good for the day and we want to continue tomorrow, and sometimes we might want to continue that session. Yeah. Okay. So, so maybe like a session by session thing. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let's jump back into the thick of it. All right. Uh, bug fungus and humorous just ran back into the tavern, and Balazar, Iados, and Brock, who is muted. Is I'm here. Are on the second floor between rooms three, four, five, and six. Ooh. And just like looking at Balzar's gash on his hand. I did what must be done. What did you even do? Uh, when I I cut my hand open. Uh, nice. <laughs> How deep you go? I don't know, maybe an inch. Well, <laughs> an inch. A, a few that. centimeters. Come on. It's an ugly gash, but I, I, I don't exactly you have a measuring bone. stick with me. Please tell me you can see some bone. <laughs> Let me take a look at it. Come on, I love, love this stuff. Brock, why did you bring this thing back? Brock, what the fuck? <laughs> I, what alley look, did you drag this guy out of? Look. I saw him trying to get the squ the squirrel. Okay, you you saw me get the. Why though? Well, look, look. I've 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 spent a lot of nights sad at a bar, and I don't want that to happen to anyone else. So I just tried to cheer him up, but you know. Well, that's, hold very your nice awesome very, that's very nice of you, uh, Brock. Uh, but uh, well. The squirrel? Why, why do you need a, the squirrel if you don't mind me asking? I mean, that's what the tiefling wanted. Well, very well. I won't question his, his motives for it. The bartender is continuing to wrap uh, Balazar's hand. Excellent. And he's hearing everything you're saying. <laughs> and he's judging you very harshly. <laughs> is, he, is he judging me or is he judging the, the squirrel men over there? I like. He's judging you, Balazar, and the squirrel man for being <laughs> so I strange. Do? You cut what your hand open. <laughs> he startled me. Oh. This is unreal. Well, maybe you shouldn't have a knife if you get startled so easily. Maybe you shouldn't be knocking on people's doors. That, you know, That's my job. I'm an innkeeper. Six in the goddamn morning. And it's called a wake up call. It's a courtesy. I have to wake up by myself. Oh man! I feel bad for old Barkeep over here. What's your name, Barkeep? I've literally never called you anything but Barkeep. Oh, you can call me Don John. Oh no! <laughs> uh -oh. We're getting back into the realm of dumb names. <laughs> Mary, Mary. Back in my adventuring years, I was called Don John the Destroyer, but that was a long time ago. Destroyer, <laughs> <laughs> what, if I might ask? Hopes Which... and dreams. <laughs> and now you sit at home with your boss. No, no, no man, the title was the fastest gun in the West. <laughs> Did this part... uh, Don John finishes wrapping your hand, Belzar. Yeah. And he starts to say, well, I've got to get ready for the morning rush. Early drinkers, you know. He walks back downstairs. Oh, good. What a weirdo! <laughs> Fucking dodge on the destroyer. What the hell? <clears throat> a 
thing of fucking beauty. <laughs> so, uh, oh. how, how did it go going to the, the potions? Did did you see anyone following you? Cause, uh, uh, we, didn't, we didn't see anything, but the uh, place was closed. Oh, uh, closed because of me, by the way. But uh, you said they weren't in there. Yeah, they weren't in the room. We a bug. Uh, we searched our room because we may have thought, you know, someone may have been spied on us, and we just happened to find a hole in our room. And uh, upon inspection, they had a little marble thing in there that scared the <laughs> scared the heck out of bug. But uh, uh, we uh, we pushed it out, and we look in the room, and we saw that it was empty. It was kind of dark in there. So uh, me and Bug devised a plan to maybe uh, break in there and take a look and see what was in there. And we found two. To the, two of their bags in there. And, and uh, all the pamphlets! They only had the wanted posters! Nothing else! At all! Just uh, wanted posters! For the amulet, which we were looking for! The heirloom! Alright, well that confirms that these are these guys and the guys who are following us are one and the same. It seems to be! Now, one thing I do want to bring up is, uh, uh, Bug said that that little marble that was blocking the hole had some kind of, like, uh, magic energy rating off of it. Would any of you know anything about that? Uh, nope. I I don't know magic. Magic freaks me out. Magic. How to do a barbarian in the fires or ballot? Oh, Brock, do you know anything about magic? You're like a weird old warrior. No, I mostly just know about rocks and ores and whatnot. It is a kind of rock. Mm, well, I don't really deal with magical rocks very often. Just, you know, Metal. Damn, if only we had some sort of sorcerer with us. <laughs> <laughs> well, then we... Well, uh, where's, where's Drogo's? Uh, he seems to be uh, the we, one missing. We, 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 don't, we don't know. Oh. He, said, he, he, he said something about emergency and had to go. Oh, well, uh, that's a little bit worrying. Hopefully he's okay, but... Uh, uh, who, uh, he's who's probably this, just who's this fella right here? The... the Oh, the squirrel guy. Uh, I don't think we've met like before. Your uncle. Oh hi. Oh, uh, I'm. Wait a minute! It's a fucking demon. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> that's that's pushing it, bud. <laughs> I I I'd like to let you know I'm only only part demon. It, is that supposed to help your case? Yes. The other other kind of demon. What? Uh. uh you hear, like, heavy trudging downstairs. Oh, uh, shit. Maybe it's not, th this isn't the place to be talking about that. How about we, uh, how about we go into this room over here? Uh, uh yeah. sure. Go, go, go. Because I get the feeling, I get the feeling those are our, um, not-so-friendly friends. So I guess we're all gonna go into, uh, Bug and yep. Hugh's room. Yeah. We file into that tiny I mean, room. ours is bigger, at least. Slightly bigger. Wait, hang on. Should we, like, position something in front of the small hole? So that they... Uh, I kind of stepped on it, and a piece lodged in my foot. So I think it doesn't work anymore. The heavy uh, crushing starts coming upstairs. I'm just... Okay, I'm just going to very quietly put my good hand on, like, the hilt of my sword and get ready to draw it if I need to. But we're in the we're room, in the aren't we? <laughs> Collateral damage. They try to break in. We go stab mode. We go sicko mode. The heavy trudging starts walking by your room. Uh oh. Uh oh. Everyone keep it down. What'd you say? <laughs> I said keep it down. <laughs> the trudging stops for a moment. Oh, and then fuck. continues until they open a door. And, I turn and I and shut the door. I turn I don't and I strangle the gecko. To death. The door slammed shut and is quiet. Can I do a perception check to see if I know what door it was. Yeah. Hey guys, my superior cobalt <laughs> hearing allowed me. To know exactly what door they they slammed and went in. Which door was it? Uh, it was the last door on the right, door, room seven. <laughs> and your perception is so good, you can hear them whispering. 
I didn't see them anywhere. You think they left? I, uh, no, I don't. I don't think they left. I think uh, they're just in the city. Shit. Uh, I point to Hugh with a message and just said, "They're just as dumb as us." <laughs> well, about that bug. <laughs> They couldn't find us, we couldn't find them. Well, that that's... means that we're not dealing with a smarter opponent. We're dealing with someone on our level here. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I had to mute myself for a second and burst out laughing. That was fucking great. <laughs> 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 oh, that kind of worries me, Bug. Uh, so if they were out looking for us, and we were out looking for them... Maybe they aren't looking for us. Maybe they're looking for someone else looking for that, uh, that, that thief. Uh, but maybe they, oh, I'm so confused. This isn't like anything where I come from, bug. You're in the thick of a mystery. I say to the group, what's mysterious? These guys are going to kill us. <laughs> Uh-oh. I feel like God rolled very terribly. <laughs> 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 I feel like God may have just rolled a net three. <laughs> Ooh, he, hmm. oh, he to the wall, see if they can hear what they're saying. Who is the best ears? I think the best ears belong to the man no ears. Oh, well, well I mean. Bony man. Oh God. Okay. Fine. <laughs> I want to. I want to try and like press up against the wall and try and hear in. Okay. Uh, oh, God. Perception shit. God's rolling like ass today. <laughs> man. Well, oh, you know, who um, is too. <laughs> you're like listening, or are you looking through the? I'm listening through the wall. Um. Uh, you don't hear anything. A character for a second. What yeah. if they're all yeah. trying to hear us and we're trying to hear them? No one can hear each other. <laughs> <laughs> character here. Oh, this is great. I love it. All right. Did you hear anything, Hugh? Oh, no, I didn't hear anything. Uh, hmm. you know what? Maybe we could. Well, no, that's a bad idea. We shouldn't look through the peephole. Um, wait a minute. Uh, do we have anything to cover up the peephole with on our side? Make it look black. You know, um, uh, maybe uh, a cloth or something we could like shove in the hole or something. Uh, you mean like say a blanket that one would expect to come with a room in an inn? Oh, that's my blanket. I get cold at night. Well, Hugh, uh, do you get cold? No. Well, uh, well, I don't really have any. The only thing I can feel is pain. <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, they're right on the other side of this wall. I can hear them. Oh, God. <laughs> He's like, oh, yeah. God. <laughs> okay, I'd like to use a message on them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's, it's like, this is the voice of God. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what do you want me to roll? Just a d20? Wait, um... Just, like, say your message. Is it, like, a charisma? Like, what are you trying to... It would be... Uh, I would just like to, in my head, make the loudest, most awful noise I can. I think that's just... psychic attack damage. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> can I try that? Uh... <laughs> like, you know, my singing voice is, like, horrible. <laughs> oh, I like no. to start singing shanties at the top of my, like, uh, of my, like, head lungs. Like, the top of my, like, uh, thought lungs. Bug Fungus just starts screaming Mariah Carey. <laughs> should, I, should I roll for that? Yeah, roll a d20. I'm not sure what. A d20. I hear a car horn. Earl just hijacked a car. How do you roll a d20? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, I can't really so, see. Side of the wall. I it's kind of like a like a mosquito whine that they hear in their like, ring, ring. <laughs> and like they like start slapping their ears because they think there's like a mosquito in like the room. And 
They're like distracted. You can just hear just... slapping on the other side of the wall. We need a plan right away. Are we going to confront them or are we going to leave? Why? Who said that? Uh, Who's going to confront me? Uh, oh, <laughs> oh no, he's still in the message! Oh, you're still sending the message. Cancel it, cancel it. Oh. I, start, like, I start like gesturing, like, cut it, cut it. <laughs> what? Okay. You, hear, you hear steel come out of a sheath. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Everyone get away from the wall. Oh, you gotta get out of here. <laughs> I think we should run downstairs as Just fast as at, possible. At the top of my lungs, I shout, fuck, fuck it! <laughs> <laughs> they are here! And a, uh, like, a sword hard. comes through the wall. <laughs> Just, and then retracts. I just grab Bug Fungus and I bitch him out the fucking window. <laughs> <laughs> the window is closed, so it shatters very loudly. Oh, um, oh, no. Actually, before we do that, I want you to do like a strength check to throw uh, Bug no, Fungus. No, no, I don't actually want to throw Bug. Oh, okay. <laughs> if the window's closed, then he's going to take damage from that. Also, it's a second story window. <laughs> <laughs> it's like drawing a baby from a second story window. Eat the child. <laughs> Destroy the child from around the mall. A second okay. sword starts coming through the wall. What are you gonna do? Okay, I, I, have, have, I, ha I have a plan. I have a plan. Quickly, I, I, we need uh, I'm going to kick the door open and run for it. Why did you Wait, open hold up, it? Hold up, hold up. Before we go do anything rash, I know there's swords coming through the wall, but uh, we are making, <laughs> we are drawing too much attention to ourselves. No, you, a you, third, no. like, sword hole pokes through the wall. What? Uh, like, uh, like it, you, it, it's not you, like a third you, sword coming through the wall. It's just like you, a hole. You, listen, the first to me, listen to me, Hugh. There are currently two guys with full armor trying to kill us by shoving their swords through the wall. If there was any time for if there was any time for rash decisions, it is right fucking now. Well, then let's go and confront them. Let's beat them up. You know, let's let's do what we gotta do. Fuck it. Let's go with that. All right. <laughs> and I uh, I unsheathe my rapier. Let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> You know, I come in strapped! And I take out my loot. <laughs> I draw my sword. Oh god. <laughs> oh god, we're gonna, we're gonna actually kill people in an inn. <laughs> yep. Hey, they attacked first, it's fair fucking game. We'll be fine! Uh, and I like- Worst comes to worst, this town is expendable. <laughs> acceptable, no. acceptable casualties. The bartender didn't seem too keen on protecting them, so I would assume they're just patrons. We'll be fine. All right, Ben. All right, uh, uh, you're you're leading the charge. You're the one who suggested it, and if there's, you said you said yourself, if there's any time to act now, then we're gonna act now. Let's go. Um, everyone who wants to fight, do uh this. I'll, I'll pin it. Oh wow, they have really high initiative. <laughs> uh, Plus one. I kind of, I've kind of, I kind of already fought. I don't think, I don't think I'm enjoying this one. I'm. Uh, you took a long rest, so you have a. Yeah, no, HP. I think I'm just gonna lay down on the floor and watch what's going on. Okay. I'm gonna Demon run as fast as oh, I can. Oh wait, hold on. I'm sorry. In. Uh, I put the wrong command in. Oh. That's and if you get the wrong character by accident, uh, let me know. Um, can I make a F? Athletics there we go, to man. just run as fast as possible. <laughs> Fuck you, fucking coward. <laughs> uh, yeah. Did you don't join uh the thing though? Just uh to yeah. check athletics. <laughs> <laughs> you bolt out of there. You fucking traitor. <laughs> With small leg, you sure can run. <laughs> Fuck you! Get your ass back here. <laughs> I'm just in it for the money. 
All right, Bellasaur, <laughs> you gotta go too. You're in this. <laughs> I've I've already rolled. I am uh, initiative of nine. Oh. You rolled last. I rolled the most. Oh. You and I are at the top. So, like, Balazs was doing this, like, if there's any time to fight, it's now. And then me and Bug run out there like bumbling like, idiots, and he's just guys, still in the room just looking. Like, you guys get really enthusiastic. Like, I, I still want to err on the side of caution. Okay. okay. Alright, is everybody entered? That wants yeah. to fight Bug Bungus, Humorous, the two... Uh, and Balazar? Yeah. I mean, right. unless the tief Tiefling wants to join. Nope, I'm just laying on the floor watching. Uh, <laughs> Joe, I'm just gonna start slowly making my way over to the potion shop. Just wh whenever you wanna, like, switch. Okay. Whatever, <laughs> whatever, whatever <laughs> like, Howard. combat is over. <laughs> Bug Vungus, it is your turn. I uh, probably shouldn't have the person with the lowest uh, HP and uh, armor go first, but whatever. Okay, uh, for my first move. Uh, if you want to see your attacks, it's... Uh... Are you just attacking each other through the wall? No, uh, I think we, we... Didn't we go out the door? Yeah, I think we left the room and we're about to okay. kick open the door. And... <laughs> okay, so well, I guess uh, I... um. Is, is their Best door to see your attacks. Oh, yeah. uh, their door is still closed. Hmm. Um, man, for my first move, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to grovel. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to be able to do that. That's one of my race features. Uh, it's not technically a spell or anything. Um. The door's still closed. Though. If you tell me what it does, I can manually, like, oh, add yeah. it. So, Grovel, Cower, Beg is as an action on your turn, you can cower pathetically to distract nearby foes. Until the end of your next turn, your allies gain advantage on attack rolls against enemies within 10 feet that can see you. Uh, okay. Um, and I can't use it around until after a short or long rest. So, basically, uh... We're crying. When... Like, when So, so if just, anybody what... attacks, you you add a. Uh... Yeah. I'm just typing out the. Oh okay. But yeah, so I guess just until my next turn, everyone has uh, we have advantage. So do you see the last ADV? Everyone who attacks, uh, the two men. Uh, just put that after your attack. Okay. But you're groveling at them through the door? Yeah, I just preemptively fell on the ground and I'm crying. <laughs> Open the door, the mean men are scaring me! <laughs> so, so is, do you, do you give up your turn now? Action, yeah. Okay. Do you not want to open the door, or? You go ahead! <laughs> All right, then uh, I guess he will pull out his rapier and try and kick open the door and shove my, my rapier forward. <laughs> uh, I think that's a strength check to, like, kick open the door. Okay. You hit the door, it, like, bursts open. You can see two rugged, like, m men. With, like, long swords drawn. All right. Let's get this party started. <laughs> Shove the rapier forward at him. So, uh, uh, do I take I just want to check and see if this is actually going to work. Would you... I would attack the one in front of me. Like, the, the closest one to me. So, would it be um, uh, BA1 or BA2? Can you say that once again? I was reading, sorry. No, it's, it's all good. Um, since I kick open the door and I'm attacking the one closest to me, would it be that I'm attacking BA1 or BA2? Uh, BA1 is closest to you. Okay. BA2 is like, by the bed. Okay, so I attack Rapier. 
And don't forget to do advantage on your roll. It was 23 to hit, and I did 5 piercing damage. All right. And you attacked with a, a rapier. rapier. So with your rapier in hand, you kick open the door, and the man, uh, like with the sword standing, <laughs> you knock the sword aside and cut across his chest. Aha! That'll teach you to try and spy on us. And that will that will end my turn. Oh shit, it's... It's... Go. Yeah? It's, uh, I know. Uh, okay. I'm, I'm reading. And I'm still on the ground crying. <laughs> well, I give like a thumbs up just to uh, humorous while I'm crying. Them, of course, being <laughs> by the guy who's already crying before the doors open. <laughs> so, the first man in armor sees Humorous, and he's just like taking a cut across his chest, and he's in pain and anger. So he decides to attack the god touch skeleton. He missed. And Ow! he slices but misses and his sword bounces off the ground. And it's now the next guy's turn. Standing behind um, the first man, he takes out his crossbow and light. And he tries to shoot behind the first man. And it also attacks Humorous. He also missed. Oh my God. He missed. Michael, I just thought of something great. It's now Balzar's. Uh, Michael? Yes? Since I'm so short, okay. since and you and I both have rapiers, I can be, like, under you. Like, don't talk to me and my child ever again, and we can both be stabbing at the same time. <laughs> I, I'm going to th throw a javelin. I did 23 to hit, uh, 6 piercing damage. Or 5 piercing. Well, you did 6 damage. It was plus 1. Okay. So from behind Humorous and Bug Vungus, you throw your sword. No, I mean, you throw your javelin. And it, stri it strikes the first man in the, like, like oh, did you lower stomach. stomach. You had an advantage to challenges me to battle. I accept. Uh, advantage only works for, like, attacking. Yeah. Like, trying to attack, not, like, hit dice. So. Yeah. It would have been a bigger number, though. Sad. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, that's cool. It says uh, that he's bloody, so he's under half health now. No. Oh, yeah. That's not, that's nice to know. Yep. And it. Uh, let me work with with Brock on going to the potion okay. shop because he said to uh, he's going to the potion. Yeah. So by this time, I would assume that I'm kind of like in front of it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. You're in front so, of the potion. Can I? Uh, should I roll to see, or should I just see? Like, is it open? It's yeah. open. Um, oh, okay. It's like you can see someone in there. Okay. Uh, I would like to walk in. Okay. You enter the shop, and it's got like a counter, and like probably hundreds of potion bottles everywhere, and there's this frail old lady sitting behind it, and she has, like, crazy gray hair. <laughs> and she's just kind of sitting there, like, not even paying attention to you. Mm. I would like to say, uh, like, 
Um, what would you like to like show me? Do you have anything new? Oh, who are you again? Who are you again? <laughs> Excuse me. Who are you again? Um, I'm a, I'm a Brock. I don't think we've ever met. Oh, Brock, little dwarven boy. Oh. All right. Uh, well, what are you interested in? Huh? Uh, I was thinking maybe like a some sort of combat potion. Do you have combat, anything that would combat. be of interest? Hmm. Well, I just did get the elixir of life from a nice tiefling. Uh, <laughs> oh. oh, don't no 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 no. That yeah, might be useful. No, no, don't don't. It's poison. <laughs> but so, Brock doesn't know that. <laughs> Well, yeah, I thought you guys were there when you told what the way. Oh, you're right. You're right. right. Yeah, no, I, I told everybody. So Brock yeah. should understand that this is poison. He should. Yeah, so I, 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 I met that tiefling in the uh, tavern just across the uh, way over there, and uh, I think those potions might be uh, counterfeit. Ah. Oh. You seem to be quite the, uh, quite the uh, hooligan. I'm the hooligan, or he's the hooligan? No, 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 the tiefling. Oh. I think you should uh, double-check those potions. I think they might be poison. Hmm. I will. Uh... I have a... I have a healer's cat. Perfume. Poison. What is the perfume? It makes you smell nice, old stinky dwarf. <laughs> you know, well, I like how there's like magical potions, and you like focus on the Chanel number five. <laughs> <laughs> I have why, oil. Why would a potions seller sell just like perfume? That's not really a potion. It's just like a. I don't even know. Do you have anything that would like actually, you know, help me in combat? Maybe, maybe make me more like sneaky. Because I have this, uh, this big armor. I don't plan on taking it off anytime soon. But uh, it can be kind of hard to uh, really go anywhere without everyone knowing where you are. Do you have a potion of light feet? Oh. That might be useful. How much would that be? Uh, for telling me about the poisoned elixir of life, I... Uh, why don't you roll a charisma check? See how, see how much of a, a good boy you are. <laughs> Come on, Brock's a good old boy. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> fifty coins, fifty gold coins. Fifty coins. I can save right. one of your customers' lives. All right, twenty-five. Twenty-five. Hmm. Old how enough. about? How about fifteen? Twenty-two. Twenty. Twenty-two. Well, how about? How about I can use this potion to get you double the money of the cost of the potion if you give it to me for free by tomorrow? Hmm. We you sound like those swindlers. No. Have you ever met a mountain dwarf from the Volunder Mines? Volunder Mines? Yes, That's sir. where I get my perfume from. Yes, yes, we're very well known for our perfume. <laughs> <laughs> yes, been... that's where we get the sulfur. Yes, yeah, we we mine a lot of sulfur, and we use the nearby woods to to <laughs> to help um to. Uh, help grind it into a fine powder. 
Right, you're a you're a dwarf. Yeah. Are you sure well, you want concentrated alcohol? No, no. We uh-huh. would never use. We 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 understand that most people don't like the smell of alcohol, ex- especially on people. Mm. So we uh we just twenty kinda... coins for the potion of light feet. Hmm. I think fifteen would be better. Twenty. I One. If you give it to me for free, I promise that I'll give you at least 100 gold by tomorrow morning. Hmm. I accept your deal on one condition. Okay. I need your. Be? I need one strand of chin hair and two drops of your blood. Hmm. Why would you need that? For insurance to make sure I get my hundred coins later. Oh mm. shit, it's a witch. Ronin? Mm. Well, I don't know. I, uh, I don't really I promise like... not to hurt you. It's yeah, just well, to bring you back. Well, our minds are very close to the elven woods up in the north, and, uh, I know a thing or two about being, uh, bewitched. Okay, so I'm, I'm no a witch. I'm not calling you a witch, but you obviously know well magic very well. You're a you're a, you're the owner of a potion shop. So. Alchemist. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it's, they're not that far off. So, how about how about just the the chin hair? I'm not going to give my blood away. Hmm. Okay. Um. The <laughs> blubbly moonshine is ready for trade. <laughs> oh, <laughs> to give you a potion of light feet for a chin hair and promise of a hundred yes. gold later. Has Zex. Chin hair. <laughs> I'm just gotta write this down, hold on. Promise of a large sum of money. <laughs> <laughs> Possibly five times the amount of just the potion. <laughs> Alright, the potion of light feet gives you a plus five for like two turns to uh like stealth checks. Got it. You might want to add that to your like inventory with the yeah. note on it. Mm-hmm. Because I'm going to forget. Okay. <laughs> Let's say right at the... Thanks for doing business, young Hilldorf. Uh, I am not a Hilldorf. I am a Mountain Dwarf. He got like, yee-hoo! And then she, <laughs> she walks out of... She walks behind into the back room. And she just keeps saying, yo, like, yee <laughs> You're like, yeah, right. dwarf. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. I'm gonna walk to, uh, or start walking to the general store. Okay. Um. Let's go back to combat. Yeah. <laughs> Where were we? I kill Brock. <laughs> I want to roll to intimidate the universe to just cause Brock to have a heart attack. All right. So it's my turn. Uh, roll as it stands. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Yes. Okay, so I get off the ground from crying. Uh, (laughs) No longer have advantage. And I would like to take a bonus action before my major action. Yep. Yep. Uh, I would like to cast Bardic Inspiration, which is basically um, I give a target friendly one d6 that they can either add to a check, a attack roll, or a saving throw. Okay. Okay. That's just a bonus action. Uh, who do you uh, give it to? Uh, I'm gonna give it to Balasar. Ooh. All right. And uh, uh, one second, let me cast this. <laughs> and what is your major accent? Uh, my major accent. I'm going to fucking stab the second guy. Okay. Uh, One sec. Let me go back to... 
I like to imagine it's one of those little uh, movie scenes where it's just um, this raging fight going on with this like hardcore rock music, and then just like it's like ah, and then just cuts to Brock with like calmly strolling along. (laughs) There's like this happy music, and then just cuts back ah. I'm I'm picturing like it's. Bug is just like plays a little tune on his loot, immediately draws a knife and just stabs a guy in the shin. Like without skipping a beat. Like he's still got the loot in one hand. <laughs> okay, so um Do you need help or it's, you know? uh, right. it's exclamation point attack and then my weapon space my weapon name and then slash T and then the target's yep. name. And then uh, I have pack tactics. It's something kobolds have. Yeah. And I get advantage if the target is within five feet of a friendly person. I get advantage. So I'll just add um, advantage at the end. Yeah. I was going to attack uh, target two, I'm thinking. So you just want to make sure you have those tags. All right. And it's BA2? Yep. Yeah! Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. He's dead. He's going to fuck me. Fuck. You thought you... I was crying? Time to die! You absolutely you destroy him. him. And. You turned him into. You, 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 t- like, you turned him into a kebab! Getting off the ground crying, I first grab my loot and go, Yo! And then cast like a spell. On Balazar, and then I unsheath my sword while putting my loot on my back, and just go, "Eat my sword, fuck!" And then uh, I I stab it into the second man over the first man's bleeding corpse, or not corpse. As Balazar, said, as, as Balazar said, as Balazar said, you take your rapier and you like cut off his head, and then you stick it on your sword like a kebab, and now. <laughs> I'm in shock. Now you just have a severed head stuck on your sword. It's now a club. La say la say la. The tune that Bug played to give me that played to make that bonus, give me that bonus action. Dragon Force is a fire flame. Also, everybody uh, in in combat add like XP. Yeah, how much 30. XP? Thirty. I mean fifty. 50 I can't hear over the music. I can't hear. How much experience did we just gain? 50. <laughs> <laughs> no, fuck. And Humorous, it's your turn. All right. Yeah, well, when do you get ready? All Let right. me change the EXP to my next level. It just lets me choose what experience. Yeah, fuck it. We'll deal with it later. All right. Yeah, so, yeah. after <laughs> hearing. Bug's song go out, and he just severed a man like, that's it, Bug, you know how to do it. Now let me show you how we really do it. <laughs> and, yeah! and Hugh, Hugh is going to take out his battle axe from behind him. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> and I'm going to swing it down over the first guy's head. <laughs> Uh, I got um, you try to you try to go for the killing blow, but missed, and you smash the bed. And <laughs> what the fuck was that? Like you, you cut like a big like gash in the bed. No, no, no. Whoops. Uh, I think I may have gotten carried away. I I haven't fought in a you know in a long time, but uh, <laughs> um, uh, get him. <laughs> was that uh, your only action? Yeah, I don't have any other actions to do. Roll a saving throw now. <laughs> Get up, bitch! <laughs> so, I feel like the bartender is really mad at us. <laughs> so, that we just murdered his patrons. If the barkeep tries shit, I'm gonna skewer him do too. Do not, do not do that. Do not. It's one thing killing two, like... Uh-oh. Uh, he is very, like, angry that you killed his, like, friend in such a, like, 
demeaning manner. And like he slips on the blood of <laughs> that's like spewing out of <laughs> the second armored man that was behind him. And he like misses his uh attack with the scimitar. Alright. Yeah, it's his turn. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Balazar, it's your turn. I killed him! <laughs> Dead. Oh. Just fucking... And you still oh. have inspiration. There you go. Alright. Um, you killed two people. Oh. Um, I'd say... I had like, another, like... 30 XP I'd for say everyone that's that was a in the fight. Good day. Total experience then? Seven, Did anybody take any damage from this? No, no, no. <laughs> they, they all, I, I don't know why I was so worried. <laughs> just kept missing. These guys have proven so fucking incompetent. If they didn't want to die, they shouldn't have been killed. <laughs> If they didn't want to die, they should have had better shelter. No, someone go hurry and get the bartender. Explain what happened. We can't have him finding this. Um, uh, bug. We just yeah. we just killed two people. Uh, I think we're gonna find. Uh, and I kind of I kind of screwed up the bed. Um, no, don't don't worry. I I got this. Standing right there, isn't I? I want to go talk to him. Let me go talk to him. <laughs> done nothing. Let me go talk. All right, Iados, you want to go talk to yeah, the? Go talk I would to like to go with Iados just in case they go south. Uh oh, okay. Um, like I am, I am waiting for us to botch. The bartender of has like been hearing like all this thumping and fighting and like loot playing and decapitating, <laughs> and, and is <laughs> is very Bonfire. like concerned. So he's already upstairs, like. Just kind of watching. I, I just kind of put my head, my head in my hand. Ah, oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. Um. So what did you do? What? Why? What all with? What's all with the like blood on my floor oh, and shit. like oh, my broken bed? I uh, imagine, I'm imagining like Bug is still waving around this, his rapier with the head stuck to the end of it, <laughs> and the barkeep can very clearly see it. Uh, uh, I think I'm gonna have to call the guards no! here. Oh, you you can uh, go ahead and call the guards, but you know this will backfire on you because this was uh, on your watch, and uh, oh. I wanna. Yeah, you really, you really shouldn't. The the, the main thing. Uh, I will be... not take responsibility for whatever the hell happened here. Okay, okay, wait a minute. Underneath the rug. Should should that should I take no. over here? Are you certain? I got this. Don't worry. I'll even I'll e I'll even. Uh... Maybe you guys can do a charisma check or a persuasion check to uh. Well, I was just swindle gonna him. him to keep into keeping his mouth shut. Intimidate has worked for you before. Yes, no, you has. have inspiration you can add. I'm Does he have inspiration? Yeah, he has Oh, they oh. Bro, it's fine. Oh, I, guess it, I guess it's not necessary. Uh, <laughs> yes. So, so kind of explain what you told him. So, I like, I, I said that, like, it, it's not a good idea to go and, um, Get get the guards. If anything, you should just charge us for the cleanup fee, and we'll deal with the bodies. Just like uh, broke them in, as accessory to murder. Per perhaps I could get a little bit of um, bit of gold to sweeten the deal. Uh, he, gold you, we have could, uh, could somehow help us clean this up? Oh, I don't know. Someone ran them off last time. I don't know if they'll trust me anymore. <laughs> oh. Body. How much gold are we talking here, Barkeep? I already gave you 40. Uh, well, that was just for the information, but I didn't know you intended to assassinate them, so... Um, like a thousand gold is probably, probably looking pretty good. 
Oh, sir, you, 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 you see, you have placed dangerous associates by us, and they attacked us first. If anything, it is you who should be paying us reparations. We would gladly pay for the damages, but do not think for a moment we will pay, be paying a cent more. Oh, uh, well, I guess if it is for the damages, the bed. Yeah, 60 gold pieces. My beautiful wall that I built with my wife. Um, and the room is covered in blood. God damn it, I have to get those stains out. <laughs> and he's not even like disgusted by the bodies. He's like kind of oh, like yes. This well, is he's, this he's, is a regular yeah, Thursday this for is, him. Uh, this is Don John the Destroyer. I mean, twenty <laughs> seventh of his name. Um, should we call it maybe a hundred gold pieces? I think that's fair. Fine. Don. Okay. Uh, who, who, you and who's paying up? Oh, I believe we oh. all. You and I confront twenty. Yeah, yeah, we can we can front twenty. <laughs> Alistar and Iados, could you please front thirty? Uh, I yeah. at best can do five. <laughs> I was not involved in this. Okay, fight. hang on, hang on. Okay, if 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 they can, co co how much would I need to pay? Like at most, what's the max amount I have to pay here? Well, uh, uh, let's see. To get to one hundred, um, sixty. Six. Nah, I, I, I'll chip in five. It's only fifty-five. Uh, I can cover that. Well, all right then. I know if we're set then. Here's your hundred gold pieces, Barky. So fifty, seventy-five. Good old Don. Twenty. I have so 20 everybody gold subtract uh, the amount of gold yep. that you paid. Yep. Right. Well, I mean, me and Bug gained 20 and then lost 20, so ours didn't move any. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you don't know about it. <laughs> I was gonna use that money to buy an actual set of fucking armor. Uh-oh. Stinky. <laughs> Bastards. Uh, uh, Zach, would you like to go... Oh, wait, I'm sorry, Brian. They're looting the bodies, but, like... Yeah investigation check like I'm checking what happened but actually just loot them. Yeah. <laughs> if you find any gold I'd take So uh, investigation or uh, like deception or what do you want me to roll? Uh, investigation. Alright. I think that's a Yeah, that's one of them. But uh, yeah, investigation. Yeah, you have a plus four to that. <laughs> Hmm. Um, you find some gold on them. Uh, thirty pieces on each. I'll just take that. Um. Also okay. on them, you find a tiny, like thumb-sized blue stone. Another. Hmm. I'll just be pocketing that. What type of armor were they wearing? Uh, one that's covered in blood and debris and viscera and scratches. Armor, armor is armor, and I need armor. Uh, I think I gave them eight AC. Ah, uh, they were humans. I don't know if that'll fit you. Fuck. <laughs> Damn it. Well, barkeep. Ah. Uh, I believe we'll be going downstairs now. Okay. But I don't yes. want you coming back here again for quite a while. No, no rush assured. You, you won't be seeing any of us anymore. Uh, we we apologize for this. It was just a just, no. Just, we don't just a, just a run in. No, we do not apologize. It happens to the best of us. Would you like me to still play a show tonight? No, no, you can just go. Oh, no! And, like, he starts to, like, sh 
push you guys out and like closes the door so anybody like coming in won't see the goddamn like viscera <laughs> viscera gives. yeah well that's just great no well oh uh, there's a there's a there's another inn around here right we can just uh there are two more at least well, yeah, it isn't that bad then. And hey, uh, we got those uh, people chasing us off our back, so we can just uh, we can just go on to where my where my friend told us, and we can start hurt, hunting for that gem, you know. So we're not going to look for the traitorous dwarf. Um, what we do may you mean? want what to go mean? find out where he. He's not traitorous. He just he's went to goddamn go coward. He went to go investigate. Oh, no, oh you, no. mean, you mean Brock? Well, he booked yeah. it the minute trouble showed up. I think, I think, like at about this time, I'm, I would be like right outside of the tavern because the uh, general store is like right next to the tavern. So, um, yeah, I kind of wanted to jump to you, but we were like right in the middle of something. Um, you just want to kind of like go back in time for a second and go to the general show yeah, sure. store. Sure. And then when we come back together, like it'll be like just after the fight, and you just exit the. Okay. So store. yeah, I just want to go in and uh, and uh, just like ask the um, the like storekeeper, kind of like if he has anything new in stock. So I'm looking for them. <laughs> Just one second. That's fine. Right. Load. Load. Damn it. Okay. <laughs> uh, you enter the general store, and there's just racks and racks of like stuff. Um. Where the? Okay. Like, there's abacuses, barrels, buckets, like, ladders, lanterns, lamps, mirrors, like, soap and shovels and all kinds of stuff. And, like, to your left, as you enter, there's, like, a counter. Hmm. Uh, I, I would like to walk up to the counter and see if, like, anyone's there. Mm, the name's Bringy. What brings you here? Ah, uh, Bringy, a fine name. Mm -hmm. I was wondering if uh, you had anything uh, magical of the sorts. I know that you're no potion shop, but uh, the uh, lady that runs that seems to be mentally insane. Oh, you're talking about old Blubbly Moonshine? Yeah. Yeah, she, uh, yeah. She's uh, pretty out there. Yeah. Say she lost her mind after she drank molten lead. Oh, uh -huh. yeah. I've 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 actually met a uh, lot of a uh, lot of elves that have gone crazy because of that exact same reason. <laughs> Great common. Drinking molten lead, yeah. Um, anything so magical, magical, magical. Well, I did find. Let me go look in the back room. And he goes in the back room. I would like to just, like, l l briefly just, like, look around while he's back there. And just see if there's anything magical at all on the shelves or anything. Um, Should I make a check for that? Sure. <laughs> um yeah, you see like lots of pots and pans. Hmm. Um something does stand out, uh this like intricate knot of different colored fabrics. Um and it's like a very complex 3D knot. Hmm. That looks kind of interesting. Hmm. Um he walks back out and he says, I have this like cream that will like insulate 
the edge of your blade so you can spar with it. Oh. I was actually looking for something that would maybe uh, fix a uh, bewitchment. <laughs> oh, well, I know the old potion lady, Blubbly Moonshine, might have something for that. Uh, bewitchment. What, what sort of trouble are you in? Oh, uh, I uh, was in, the, in an incident with a uh, elf after they did something uh, horrible to me. And uh, they uh, bewitch they bewitched the way I uh, talk. So now I, instead of having an amazing, uh, you've heard a mountain dwarf talk. In instead of having a an amazing voice like that, I be I was bewitched to sound just like a a normal human. Mm, I did notice you were talking a bit strangely for a mountain dwarf. Ah. Uh... I might have... Hmm. Hmm. And he, like, ducks under his table, and he pulls out a, like, a, like, notebook. And he's like, like here, write on it. And he lays it down. Uh, I'm gonna make the cool S. <laughs> 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 no, like <laughs> actually, write something. Uh, I'm gonna write. Uh, Brock is the coolest. And oh boy! <laughs> as soon as you like put a like period after like Brock is the greatest, like mm -hmm. the book says in like the exact voice you want. Brock is the greatest. <laughs> So, are you telling me that this book will will just say whatever I write in it in the perfect voice? Oh, uh, well, I think it only does, you know, like, you know, you can't, you have to, like, understand what it means. I don't think you can write just, like, anything in it. Oh, but, okay. uh, I don't know, I've never gone looking. Hmm. Well, uh, how much, uh, how much would this book cost? Oh, I mean, I got those fairly recently, I'm not really sure. Mm -hmm. What would you give for it? Well, uh, I've been carrying around this potion of Lightfoot for a while now. <laughs> <laughs> really never needed to use it. Uh... <laughs> The uh, a couple of towns away, there was this potion so that said it was worth like a like a hundred and fifty gold pieces, and I think uh, I think that would be a good trade. Mm -hmm. Do a charisma check to bluff. I mean, or, check like bluff check. Should I do like persuasion? Uh, I think there's a thing called bluff, right? Oh, is there? Deception. Oh, okay. Yeah, check deception. He's <laughs> like, oh, that's a very good trade indeed. And he like, like snatches the bottle and then throws the book at you and just kind of looks at the bottle. Well, uh, thank you. This was a uh, quite the trade. Yeah, this is uh, this is exactly what I was looking for. Good luck selling that potion. I hear it's uh, very, uh, very wanted, especially now with all the. Treasure hunting going to town. <laughs> and then I walk out <laughs> smiling. <laughs> awesome. And I guess I see everyone else right as they uh, got exit to the town. tavern. Yeah. Brock, you motherfucker. Mm -hmm. that guy take this out. Brock, give us one hell of a fight. Yeah, Brock, I, uh, you fucking coward! Look, look, look! I, uh, I don't have a, I don't have a lot of uh, money in these, uh, at least on this continent. But so, uh, as soon as I saw that a fight was going down, you know, where there's a fight, there's a, you know, especially on private property, you gotta, you gotta pay back the damages. So, 
I was out of there. I'm not gonna be in debt. I can roll to kill Brock. <laughs> no. But Brock, what? Those people were the ones that were chasing after us. Do what if? What if we all got hurt? You know. Oh, I mean, I'm in it for the money. <laughs> well, well, I see. It. well, you all seem nice and all, but I mean, Idos's backpack each like, other for... like rattles. <laughs> Uh, can I look in my backpack and give the squirrel a, uh, ration so it stops rumbling so much? <laughs> sure. Thank you. Do you want to do a perception check? <laughs> Me? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> 11. You... I got 11. Uh, you notice that the squirrel has eaten all of your rations inside your bag <laughs> and has made a giant mess. Nope, not, no, not helping. Not helping at all. <laughs> not like, like, There's just crumbs problem. inside your backpack. It is like, you know, it was a little scared, so it might have peed a little bit in your bag. It kind of oh, smells like, like squirrel pee. Extra smell. Mm. <laughs> Oh, you can uh, thank what, Brock for that. What, yep. what do tieflings like eat normally? The souls of uh, the souls of the innocent? No, we, we <laughs> eat normally. It's just that squirrels are very tasty, like, <laughs> like the taste of spice, but like with some sour in it. <laughs> Come on, Ooh, no, man. <laughs> like, like like a like a cranberry that's been dipped in pickle juice. And then, <laughs> that sounds awful. <laughs> Did, but, did you just add what a did you just ask what a cranberry was? I, I never heard of that. What is a cranberry? It's a small fruit bug. Oh, it grows on bushes. Oh, like the little I, redberries that my mom told me not to eat when I was young. <laughs> yes, they are in fact little red berries, but different it's red little, berries. What? Not those berries? No, not those berries. Those are a different small red berry. Oh. They taught us this in so basic I just training. The ones I saw in the bushes when I was younger. The what? You know the small red berries. My mom told me to eat. I shouldn't eat those. No, don't eat those. No. Those are poison. Those, those will kill you dead. Um. Yeah, it's what I'm thinking. It's kind of getting like towards like eleven o'clock, like almost noon. Um, and just hundreds of sailors just start pouring out from the docks and start, like, coming in. They, like, smell horrible. You can just smell like a wet dog. That's a lot of semen! God damn it! <laughs> but, uh, but, but, rock. But we gotta talk about your weird phrases. You can't ah. just say that. There's gotta be a noticeable space between sea and men. men but back to what we talked about. What were you saying, Numerous? Uh, I mean, I was just going to say, oh, well, uh, while we were dealing with that, uh, what were you up to, Brock? If you don't mind me asking, that is. Oh, I was just browsing around the shop, seeing if there was anything neat. Good for you! Oh, I mean, did you... Found. And I hold up the human head to him. <laughs> <laughs> he made he got a trophy. <laughs> The oh, sailors are like amazing. walking around trying to go into the tavern, and they can just like see, like you guys standing in like a circle talking to each other, and they see Bug Bungus with a like, giant <laughs> head on his sword. <laughs> cool. We should probably get out of here. He kebabified someone. He's very proud of it. No, I put the head in my. It's in my bag, by the way. I took it off the sword. Oh, okay. Oh. You put it in your bag. I have a spent. <laughs> So the way that my bet I have like this big rucksack, you know, but I'm very experienced in this sort of thing. So part of my bag is sort of waterproof, sort of not. I just I kind of have like the I have the gross part of my bag. It's all covered in mold. Okay. That's disgusting. <laughs> cobalt thing. So I'm well, cobalts are strange creatures. I'm guessing uh that was the head of the uh of the guys that were following us. What? As far as we know, we don't know if there's any others. There could be more groups following after us. But uh, The other guy is 
currently disemboweled on the floor. Hmm. But uh, one well, thing I was going to ask you, Brock, is, uh, you know, we had all planned on going and asking around town to see if we could figure out about this, uh, this, uh, this Coratuda fella, or feller, of, uh, you know, the one who took the necklace. Uh, mm -hmm. Did you happen to find anything like that, or were you just kind of like shot him while we were, we were killing two people? Well, well, I, I uh, really was just looking around for for cool, you know, trinkets. Oh yeah. my god! So I did find this book that can make voices, so that's pretty cool. That's pretty <laughs> neat, I guess. But uh, how is how is that gonna help us catch this? Uh, to catch the big catch, you know what I mean? The 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 five hundred gold reward, you know, uh, um, you know. Uh... So wait, let me get this straight. You left because you didn't want to spend money, and then you spent money anyways. Uh, well, I uh, I, it wasn't um very expensive. It's Brock. It's how much fine. did you spend? Uh, you spent two pieces of my own hair. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking what? It's a long story. Okay, us dwarves have some interesting bartering techniques. Okay, Come on later, right now. Yes, gonna have we to start to bartering. Get a fucking head on your shoulders, asshole. Yeah, uh, we got kicked out of the tavern, so we kind of need to find a new place to sleep, and also we should probably keep looking for the heirloom. Yeah, we really uh, don't have a lead at all to where to go. Well. Yeah. well hey. I mean my criminal contact told us what town they could be in, so we could always yeah. head there. Uh, hang on. I had a note of that. I'm glad you had a note of it, because I didn't. <laughs> uh, yeah, let me just you, pull up the doc. You kind of scared them off, and I didn't have time to think. <laughs> and not... Was it Flynn? I believe it was uh, Flynn across the lake! Flynn, oh. it's a human settlement near a dwarf in town. Well, there we go. Uh, let's say we should, uh... Perhaps there's a map in the adventurer's supply shop. Who knows? Who said that? <laughs> Who said that? Who said that? <laughs> the narrator. This is the voice of God. <laughs> or maybe we can go to the to the uh, harbor master because we we know that we're gonna need to you know go across water. Possibly. I feel like if we went to the Adventurer's Supplies, we might run into someone looking for what we're looking for, and we don't want to give this information to anyone. This is our lead. What do you guys want to do? That's oh, yeah, that's we right. should go the to the Harbor Master. could have possibly had this lead are now dead and lying on the floor in a tavern. In my bag! And I hold up the head again. <laughs> bug, bug. You're to, to we should probably get Put that okay. Away. Oh, like okay. mummified or something, like make it into a necklace or something for him. I have a plan. Human heads can get surprisingly small. Right, it's got a small fucking head. <laughs> so uh, I guess uh, we should uh, head to that shop and get a map, or uh, just head on and ask maybe some of these sailors if they can take us there. You know, um, <laughs> it's it's really up to the group. I'm 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 here with you guys. You know. Um, it's nice to have people that I can, you know, do things with. Um, uh, oh, I had one oh, question. Michael, ah. you're kind of cutting out. Oh, sorry. Let me just, uh... What? what? Well, all right, how about now? You're good. You're all right, so, um, yeah, but basically what I was saying is, uh, you know, we could uh we could go and get a map or we can go and talk to the sailors who can you know give us a ride there. But um I'm really just with the group. Um I'm glad to have uh, people around that, you know, I can I, I can rely on, you know, like a, like a bug and uh, and, and uh yeah. <laughs> oh, nice to have a bony friend. Just just bug the rest of us. The rest of us you've deemed to be batshit insane. No, 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 no. It's not that. It's um, you know, we haven't Get a really, cool head. You know, we really haven't got to know each other that well, and you know, bug mm -hmm. I've spent most of my time with. So um, yeah. This is yeah. true. But uh, yeah. So uh, where where do you guys want to go? Well, normally when uh when I go uh sailing and making. De deliveries. I uh, used to have a very good knowledge of this lake area, but uh, 
after I was uh, bewitched. Um, I don't really remember much, but I do know that the harbor master would have some good insight. <laughs> good you, point. You, you've been bewitched. Yeah, it's a long story. I some elves did some um, unspeakable things to me, and uh, Those are the best it's it's it, 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 it's a long story. All right, we, we won't bother you about that. now. We we're we're burning daylight. We got we're kind of on a time limit here because who knows if uh, that coral tutor is still in that village that my my contact gave us. So you know we kind of need to be on our way. Um, yes, I would. I would love to not be here tomorrow. Yeah, that's no, probably no. why is that? I know, sir. I know you don't huh? really know about anything going on, but uh, uh, we're searching for a blue jewel. It's worth 500 gold pieces, and uh, I just wonder maybe if you wanted to come along with us for a ride, or uh, uh, what are you planning um, on? That's a, that's, a, that's, that's, that's a good question. Um, so Can you fight? What? Of course I can. I killed three goblins just yesterday. What we did? Well, then why didn't you help us fight those two people? Because I had no business with them. They were stabbing into the room you were in! It wasn't my room. I don't have to deal about they that. They wouldn't have associated you with us. You, if we failed, you were done. Well, that's my problem when it, that happened. Well, well... But if you guys want, I, I am not doing nothing, so... Sure. He seems like he can handle himself. I think we should, we should uh, have him along. I like him as a rock person. Yeah, he uh, he put me in a really good uh, leg hold. So. Well, that's worrying. He didn't hurt you, did he? No, no. It's just because I slapped him with a squirrel. What but, were you uh, up to this morning? <laughs> I'm, I'm not even going to ask about I that. I do some I weird we things go. when I'm hungover. Okay. Oh, yeah, you oh. do not have those boys are you. <laughs> oh, before we go any further, I'd like to... Uh, I, found this, I found a thumb-sized piece of blue stone. I was wondering if you knew what this was. And I hand him the blue stone to look at. Is mm. it oh, Kyanite? I never it, <laughs> but I'd like him to ask, you know. <laughs> Hold Let on, hold on. Let me see if I know anything about it. What the rock guy? <laughs> what what would I even roll for that? No. No. Uh, the history, I would assume. What, insight? Insight. Oh, yeah. Insight. Okay. Survival. <laughs> Current objective. Survive. Oh. Oh. 18. So, <laughs> I think Joe's background's loud at the moment. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. like, like a <laughs> cleaner. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever you um, need. So you can't tell it's kind of, but it has some sort of like white marbled, like mixed texture. So there's something strange about it. Yeah, well, it definitely seems to be magical and. That and, uh, kyanite, just like the uh, jewel that we're going after. May I have that back? Of course. Wonderful. Now this I found on the people that I we murdered. <laughs> so I found <laughs> they they were on to something. Now when when they came back, they thought we had escaped them, meaning they were in the city somewhere. So I'm wondering. To the harbor master might be the best idea. What does everyone else want to do? I think it'll be good. Yeah, harbor master seems like a be like a better bet. See, I would have told, I would have said, gone to the ad adventure adventurer store. However, I don't have any money, so there's really <laughs> no reason to. Yeah, I don't, I don't have any money either. So, uh, yeah, um, we are all now dirt poor. Yeah, we're all poor. Yeah. Yeah, we're all poor. Yep. We're poor. Horribly, horribly poor. It's awful. Never been this poor. I don't have enough money to feed myself. Happens to the best of us. Well, I guess I come blessings on one thing for that. I guess don't need to eat, but, but uh, yeah, I guess the harbor master will be heading on to then. Um, yeah. All right. Well, uh, 
You lead the way, Brock. Oh, yeah, I think it's uh, to the west here. All right. So I guess we head over to the Harbor Master. Yeah, yeah, head over to the Harbor Master. Okay. You meet Pork Bob, the Harbor Master. <laughs> oh, what? God. Your name? Pork Bob? Pork Bob? <laughs> But like pig, pork. <laughs> yeah. He has like a name plate. Oh okay. Yeah. No, it's Mr. very like a uh, rich like harbor. Does he smell like pork? <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> like like <laughs> aged pork. Oh, wonderful. Um, and he says, "What can I do for you?" Oh well, uh, we're uh, looking for a uh, a uh, boat to. To rent. I'm a. Uh, I'm Brock Holdra from the Volunder Mines. I don't re remember if I ever delivered here, but uh, I'm a pretty good sailor, and I was wondering if you had any uh, boats that I could uh. Volunder Mines. Volunder Mines. Um. Uh, oh. Are you an active employee of the mines? Uh, I'm on a extended vacation, but uh, yes, yes. Well, it says here to give anyone from Blundermines a 20% discount. Hmm. Uh, uh, are, are you fucking kidding me? What? And Blundermines will deal with the, with the rest. Yes, we have a... We're a very wealthy uh, operation, so... Uh, could you point us in the way of the uh, boat? Are you looking to buy, or do you want a map? What do you want? Uh, well, we do need a map. My uh, memory is a little uh, foggy. I just sold my last nautical map, but I still have land map. Uh, I could sell that to you. I've never even read a nautical map, and I've been a sailor for well, probably sixty-five years. So how are you a perfect. sailor if you don't know how to read a nautical map? Well, I'm just, I've, I've just never needed it. What? Brock, when you yeah. were a sailor, what was your job on board the ship? I, uh, I steered the ship. You were a helmsman? <laughs> yeah. And you can't read a map? Well, yeah, I, the navigator always told me. Uh, okay, you know what? I'm, t I'm not drunk <laughs> well, enough for this. Well, I, I... I can read a map, okay? I'm I'm not dumb. But can you read a nautical map? It's it's it just has some f extra lines on it. It's 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 fine. Oh, that's not worrying at all. Look, I've I've been I've been sailing ships for a very long time. We'll be safe. So, uh 5 gold pieces for a map. Hmm. How about three gold pieces? Oh, We're not made of money, and, uh, well, we've just been through some hard times. Alright, from sailor to sailor, sure thing. Alright, three gold pieces. It is. Remove three gold pieces from your backpack. What a strange it. thing for a harbor master to say during a transaction! Give me ye gold! <laughs> gold <laughs> off the port bow! <laughs> All right, so let's uh, take a look at this uh, map. We need to go to a place called Vlinin. Vlinin, F L Y N I N. Mm. Do any of you uh, see that here? Uh, do we see it on the map, Joe? Or do we have to roll? Wait, you're Spanish. There's <laughs> not, it, it's not Spanish. I hate to break it to you. Who cares? All right. Well. Okay. Uh. By a lake, it's near. Dwarven. There it is. Oh, you see it? Where is it? Uh, it would be right across from where we are. If you notice, it's it's on the northern lake on the left side. Oh, I think I see it. Ah, so it is a V. Yes. Very well done. Well, it looks like we just go straight west on the lake, and we'll be right there. 
Yes, pretty much. Well, uh... So, so uh... Is there a ship passing? Like, uh, can... Is, what kind of ship are going there? Well, if you can't really afford a map, you probably can't afford to rent a boat, most likely. Well, I got two. I can definitely, uh, well, uh, trade. I'm I may sorry. Not have gold, but I know you dwarves like your trades. Ah, uh, it's thirty thousand gold to buy a boat. <laughs> oh, uh, how about just like renting? Don't you rent out boats? Yeah, that's two thousand dollars per day. Mm. Two dollars. A barge is five hundred. Uh, and perhaps... re reckon you must bring all these back. Of course, yes. Per per perhaps we could simply accompany your ship on a voyage to that area. No, just... no, no, no. There's, there's no way I'm going to be on a ship that's being sailed by someone I don't even know. Ah, oh, Jesus fucking Christ! You could hire us as ship security for maybe a tradesman going that way. Uh, hmm. We have an experienced shipmaster, and uh, we have a bard, in my case, a very experienced bard, and we have several uh, protectors. And a soldier. Valuable cargo. And a skeleton. The scope is for you. Oh, fuck. Oh, sorry. <laughs> is he learning Spanish? I'm definitely... oh, wow. okay. I'm not. <laughs> I don't care if it's Italian. Does he speak I don't Jewish? <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, it's seven forty-five. I didn't realize the time. Oh, oh. wow. <laughs> um. Do we just want to go to to eight or? Uh. Or, that's or... what you want to do, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Why not? Yeah. So, do you do you think could hire us to go in that way? Hmm. I'm a very experienced sailor. Well, I'm just the harbor master. Uh, I know a ship just came in. It's a big old warship from Weirm. A, a warship? Yeah, I don't think they'd want your protection, mm. seeing as it's the the king of Weirm's gold down there. Well, you uh, you said we could uh rent a ship for for. Or a smaller ship for just 500, right? That's a barge, really. Oh, a barge. Do you just have, like, a... Like a... Just a rowboat? Not a good idea! Not a good idea. Ah, uh, yeah, we have rowboats. fit in a rowboat. No, we won't! We will not all fit! We can definitely all fit. In a, in a rowboat. No, uh, oh, we will not. How rowboat. big is we this rowboat you speak of? We have full-size beings in two short stops. We aren't fitting in one tiny-ass rowboat. Well, there's a hundred-gold piece rowboat that fits eight people and some cargo, and then there's uh, a fifty-gold piece which fits five. Hmm. No. Well, uh, I have this, uh, this, uh, magical book that I've been carrying for years now, and I think... <laughs> I think it might be some, it might be of some use to you, as a uh, harbor master. Uh, what what can I do? Well, uh, wh whatever you uh, write in it, it'll uh, speak out in any voice that you uh, have in your head. Let let me try it out. Yeah, yeah, here, here. Uh, he writes out. On it, Pork Bob, the Harbor Master, and nothing happens. <laughs> oh, you've got you. It. Did you buy you... an old book? No, no, no. You, you just really have to think really hard about the voice that you want. Try again. He writes out Pork Bob, the Harbor Master, this time with a period, and. Like, immediately it says, Bark Bob the Barber Mister. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> See? It's a magical book. I have been carrying that around for years, and I. Uh, it was given to me by, uh, by a king 
from a very far away land. Uh, do a deception check. <laughs> <laughs> he's not gonna buy this. There's no way he's gonna buy this. I got it. <laughs> oh, fuck. If you've had it for years, then why is there the only thing written in here? Brock Holdra and is the greatest with a with a cool ass. <laughs> Look, you fool. Well, I simply just don't want people looking into, you know, what I've always, you know, been saying. So so uh I just, you know, rip the pages out. All right. This is a bound book, you see. Yeah. Like I can see if you ripped out pages, there'd be spaces in the binding. What what are you talking about? Well, if you spend a lot of time next to the to the uh salt water, uh I know this myself, your eyes get very grainy <laughs> and uh it's very hard to see it's very hard to see details. <laughs> So I think you're just not seeing where I ripped out the books. Oh, where I've ripped out the uh, pages. And to be fair, I did uh, use the uh, sharp end of my uh, of my pickaxe. Oh I I guess you're right. <laughs> So, uh, can we get the, uh, the, uh, eight-person, uh, rowboat in exchange for the, the, uh, ma the magical book? I... For a cost. <laughs> Look, this I book, want, I this... want 25 gold coins and the book. I don't know. That book, it'll change your life. There are so many uses for it. I think, it, I think it's a fair trade. Yar, me thinks not. 25 gold coins mm. and the book. Hmm. I was but just a wee lad on the streets when I, when I got this book from the king. And it changed my life. And look at me now. I, I'm in full... I'm in full expensive armor. I have a name for myself in the Volunder Mines. It I but me be selling this to the <laughs> to the general goods store right after you leave. Mm, well, I actually yeah was thinking about selling it there, and uh, he said it was worth at least a thousand gold. <laughs> Roll another deception check. <laughs> I yeah how about the rowboat for the book and ten gold pieces mm, that's my final no. offer I will not go lower mm. fine ten gold it is and the book alright <sighs> the harbor master pork bob writes in it Aha, deep and swindled ye have. <laughs> and... Bro, we ripped off! <laughs> it's, it's just ten gold pieces. It's fine. I am very rich. The book's worth a thousand! <laughs> yes, well, we have a boat. Yeah, a robot! So you, you couldn't have gotten us a better boat? Like a barge? Mm, I think this will get the job done. Brock. So do you all want to hop in the the boat you gave me? Or do you want to, like, get ready before you wait, go? Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. I just want to hop in. Okay, okay fine. Let's, let's let the tiefling hop in. I want to see if, as more weight gets added, this boat just sinks. <laughs> I mean... It doesn't... It's meant to seat eight people. 
It's a yes, pretty large rowboat. We, but he wrote in the book, like an idiot, we've been swindled. I'm well, going to... Uh, I, I think I, that was just the ten gold pieces. I think we've been scammed. No. no. Yeah, where is this rowboat? Like, is it outside? Where is it? Is it in the water already? It's yeah. in the water already. All right. Um, just kind of behind I, the harbor master. I, uh, I, uh, I, I, I whisper to Brock. I'm like, do you think we can upsell this? Get a better boat for this rowboat. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm also like whispering to him. Uh, I think I've, uh, I've uh, used all my dwarven tactics so uh you can try to if you want but i'm going to be silent please don't what if we brought this aboard another boat and just use that i don't know i just don't want to get in a rowboat it's a very long distance mm, i have big manly dwarven arms we'll get there very quickly I'm shove you <laughs> i do got uh, a question for you brock um you said that you were given that book by a king how did that come about well uh I think I'll just tell you about it on the boat. There's a lot of time that we're going to be on the boat. Even though it'll be very quick, but <laughs> we have a lot of time to talk. All right. I am higher faith than him. I'm going to uh, climb into the boat. <laughs> I'll also climb into the boat. Uh, do you guys want to stock up on supplies or try to go hunting in the like woods on the river? Or Nah, I got a tasty squirrel. <laughs> that ate all your rations. <laughs> yep, that means I get the food from me. Right. <laughs> we'll be in the water. We can go fishing or some shit. You set... oh. So you all get on it? Yeah. Can I do a uh, a like a uh, like check to like see how fast we go? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Yes. Yes. Like, yeah. Religion and my god says it's very favorable. <laughs> oh? <laughs> Why is strength check? Oh, because you're rowing it. Okay, I got yeah. you. Um, that's just like taking off of the, like, dog. <sighs> you guess it will probably take, like, four days going down the river. At the lake, at like, at like strength twenty. Mm, okay. Um, you want to end it like around here? Yeah, let's like just end it here. <laughs> That'd be a good place. Okay. Yeah. And, and so, setting sail. Yeah. And so we end bound for Vlinen. Mm-hmm. I don't see no, <laughs> and So we end bound for Vlinen with Balsar very much contemplating how long it would take for them to get. Far enough away that he could just toss Brock in the river and no one would ever find him. <laughs> it's a lake. We're like in the middle of a lake. Yeah. That's the sea, actually. Oh, oh wow. so it's like a very large body of water. 